Finally tonight, when Steve Hartman took a close listen to the music his kids listened to, he decided it was time for all of them to hit the road. Here are Steve Hartman and Sons. I knew my kids had drinking issues, but I didn't know how bad they'd gotten until I saw them sprawled out on the kitchen floor the other day. Four-year-old Emmett and his six-year-old brother George were writing out a list of the top 40 country songs. And if you haven't listened to country lately, I've got some sobering news. Nashville is alcohol poisoning the minds of our young people. They're really good songs. Drinking class. Day drinking. Day drinking. Sunshine and whiskey. Sunshine and whiskey. Rum. And those are just a few of their favorite titles. Whiskey in my water. Whiskey in water, yeah. My kids got hooked on drinking songs, mostly thanks to this man. His name is Kix Brooks. Half of the duo Brooks and Dunn, he also hosts a syndicated radio show called American Country Countdown. We used to listen to his show on the way to swimming lessons. And at first, I didn't know the kids were even paying attention to the lyrics. Until the questions started coming. Why do they do a little day drinking? I... Questions I was hoping to avoid till after first grade. It's okay to drink at midnight, right? Once I realized what was happening, we cut way back on the country. But the songs were already embedded in their little brains. Day drinking. Dad. What are you singing? Uh, what? Nothing. Yes, I felt bad. It wasn't like he was actually drinking. But at the same time, I didn't want to let this vice go unchecked. I wonder why these drinking songs are so popular. That would be a would be a question for Kix Brooks. It wasn't a bad idea. Steve, how are you? Which is why I took the boys to Nashville. You look like George. To pose it to him. Um, why are drinking songs so popular? Because um, sometimes... Glad I wasn't the only one stumped. You know, songs are about all different kinds of stuff. I'm Kix Brooks. Kix went on to tell Emmett and George that basically little kids are not their target audience. They drinking. But he also had some insight for me. As a parent, you've got to have the conversation with your kids at some point. You're saying so this is an opportunity? It is a wonderful opportunity. I hate to admit it, but he's right. Because of those songs, I've had many healthy discussions with my boys that I would have never had otherwise. Plus, Kix says trends in country music are cyclical. Soon enough, those cowboys will be singing about something else. I just may need a drink. Steve Hartman on a country road. At least they're talking about champagne. Champagne is alcohol too, George. Really? Yes. <laughs> and that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. Scott will be along Sunday on 60 Minutes, and he'll be right back here on Monday. For now, I'm Jim Axelrod in New York. Thanks for joining us, and good night.